Welcome back to Football Daily, where it's time for another transfer talk, our weekly roundup of all the news and gossip concerning Premier League clubs. If you want the latest rumours concerning the biggest clubs in Europe, be sure to check out Euro Transfer Talk over on Euro Football Daily. As always, you can get involved by tweeting me at Doogie Critchley or the Football Daily account with the hashtag Transfer Talk. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with notifications on. Let's get into it. We kick off this week's rundown in northern France, where Lille's 21-year-old striker Victor Osserman continues to attract worldwide attention. The Nigerian only joined Les Dogs last summer from Charleroi for £10.8 million, but 18 goals in 38 appearances this term, including strikes against Chelsea and Valencia in the Champions League, have made him one of the most talked about talents in French football. A host of Premier League clubs including Man United, Chelsea, Arsenal, Leicester and Everton have reportedly been keeping tabs on him. But according to French media outlet Le Ten Sport, Liverpool have jumped ahead of them and have reportedly opened talks with the players' representatives. This news will come as a shock to many Reds fans, who were hoping that Timo Werner would be the player who would come through the door. Osman with just 13 goals in a top 5 league can't really be compared to Werner who has scored 71 goals in his last 118 Bundesliga games. Not to mention the fact that Lille reportedly won 80 million euros or just shy of 70 million pounds for the former Wolfsburg player, whilst the Athletic report that Werner has a 51 million pound release clause. Liverpool fans, we want to hear from you. If you couldn't sign Werner, would you be happy with Osserman? And if not, who would you rather sign? Let us know in the comments below. Multiple reports are claiming that Man United will have to significantly lower their valuation for Paul Pogba in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. According to Goal, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's side had valued the World Cup winner at close to £180 million last summer, but the club could only expect to fetch half that this window. They also claim that his agent Mina Raiola is working on a transfer for the former Juventus player who has only been fit enough to make eight appearances this campaign. The 61-cap Frenchman has been linked with Real Madrid, PSG and Juventus, and the Daily Mail claim that he is one of three players that United are willing to sell in order to fund their pursuit of Dortmund superstar Jadon Sancho. The newspaper wrote that Alexis Sanchez, who OGS claimed would, quote, prove you all wrong at Old Trafford next season, could be offloaded after returning from his loan spell at Inter Milan. The 31-year-old Chilean has only been able to make nine Serie A appearances, yielding two goal contributions, hardly the sort of form that would encourage potential suitors, especially considering his eye-watering £400,000 per week wages. The final player is Jesse Lingard, who has three goal contributions to his name in 35 appearances this term. With Lingard and Sanchez unlikely to bring in much money, United fans better hope that their capture of Sancho doesn't rely on their ability to offload the duo. United fans let us know in the comments which of these players would you be happy to see leave Old Trafford this summer, and who else would you like to see depart? We take a trip from the northwest of England to East Germany now, where Deo Tupamecano continues to attract admiring glances from across Europe. A few weeks ago, we told you that Arsenal were extremely interested in signing the 21 year old RB Leipzig centre back, who has made 104 appearances for the club since signing for RB Salzburg in January 2017. But now it appears that, like so much talent in German football, he will instead join 28 time Bundesliga champions Bayern Munich. Whilst a transfer fee has not been agreed between the two clubs, Builder reporting that the the Bavarians have managed to agree personal terms with the Frenchman, not yet capped by his country. The publication claims it'll only be a matter of time though with Upamakano available if someone pays his £52 million release clause. It's quite simply a devastating blow for RB Leipzig. The centre-back has recovered from an injury hit 2018-19 season to play a key role in their title challenge this term, with no side conceding fewer than their 26 goals in 25 matches to date. But with the 6 foot 1 centre back's current contract set to expire in 2021, they ultimately have no choice but to accept the £52 million rather than lose him for free next summer. Having signed Nicolas Sula, Luca Hernandez, and Benjamin Pavard over the last three summers, not to mention successfully converting Alfonso Davies into a world class left back, if Bayern sign Upa Meccano too, they will have a defence filled with the best young talent in Europe. And that's without mentioning 25 year old Joshua Kimmich, who can alternate between right back and midfield an ominous proposition for their rivals. It's clear that Man City have a lot of work to do this summer. Having lost seven league games this season, one more than in the last two campaigns combined, with 10 games to play, and conceding 31 league goals, one fewer than Crystal Palace, it seems like it is time for major summer surgery. We have seen Man City linked with Juventus' Leonardo Bonucci over the last few days. And whilst defensive recruits are a certainty, it appears that the citizens have turned their attention to other areas of their squad. 
That's because the news coming out of France is that Pep is chasing Lyon's 21-year-old midfielder, Husum Awa. Despite his age, the 5'9 midfielder has over three years of experience playing for his boyhood club, racking up 133 appearances since his February 2017 debut. The French under-21 international, who has three years remaining on his current contract, has nine goals and seven assists to his name in 37 appearances this season. But amidst the rumours Jean-Michel Houlard, the Lyon president, has insisted that Aoua has not signalled his intention to leave. The 71-year-old told Lyon's website, Husum has not said he wants to leave. We want to try and keep him, even though the interest is considerable. It appears that Aoua will therefore have to outline his plans to leave before a deal will be accepted. But Aoua has hinted that he would be prepared to approve the transfer if that was the case, saying, keeping a player against his wishes is not reasonable. At just 21 years old and with a market valuation of just shy of £50 million, he seems like exactly the sort of player City should be targeting. But City fans, who else do you want to see arrive at the Etihad this summer? Get at us down below. From Rome to Barcelona now, where the news coming out of Catalonia is suggesting that Barcelona, like Man United, are preparing to offload a few players this summer. The Daily Telegraph claimed that Philippe Coutinho is very much up for sale with the Brazilian, currently on loan at Bayern Munich, struggling to make the expected impact since his £142 million transfer from Liverpool in January 2018. The same report claims that Kike Setien is willing to include Arta in any deal for Juventus's Miralem Pjanic. This would be somewhat of a shock, with the 23-year-old having only signed for £27.9 million last summer from Gremio, whilst Pjanic recently turned 30. But the most interesting potential move in terms of Premier League clubs concerns another of their £100 million signings. Usman Dembele. According to the Telegraph's report, the 22-year-old World Cup winner will be allowed to leave this summer, should a sufficient bid be made. And Catalan paper Sport claim that Arsenal and United retain an interest in signing the player, who has 36 goal contributions to his name in 74 Barcelona games. If United can't land Sancho and Arsenal manage to include Dembele in any deal for Aubameyang, then these deals would make sense. But would you be concerned by the fact he has missed 80 games since the start of 1718 with a variety of injuries? Meany has only been fit enough to play 358 minutes in La Liga this term. Is he worth the risk, guys? Let us know down below. It's time for our headline story, the one you all clicked on here for. And it takes us to one of the most talked about places in world football right now, Newcastle. That's because Sky Sports are reporting that Newcastle's prospective takeover from a Saudi Arabian consortium, which is expected to be completed in the coming days, will usher in some massive changes at St James's Park. Sky claim that they have earmarked Maurizio Pochettino as their number one choice to be their next manager, and are willing to pay him £19 million a year to lure him to the club. The former Spurs manager, who was sacked in November, admitted he was keen on a return to the Premier League in February, and is said to be interested in the role. If the Poch deal falls through, Sky claim that Rafa Benitez is their number two candidate. The former Liverpool and Chelsea manager is already paid £12 million per year after tax in China with Dalian Yifang. The transfer news surrounding players, however, has continued non-stop since the prospective takeover was announced with names such as Donny van der Beek, Nyangalan, Coutinho and Koulibaly all linked over the last week or so. One move that does look likely, however, is that of PSG's Edinson Cavani. Foot Mercato claimed that Cavani, who is out of contract this summer, having scored 200 goals in 301 games for the Parisians, is going to be offered a bumper contract to join the Newcastle project. While some of these reported moves seem a little fanciful, Cavani would appear to be the most realistic. At 33 years old, though, would he be a smart long-term investment? Let us know your thoughts and who else you want to see Newcastle sign down below. So guys, that's all we've got time for on Transfer Talk for this week. What did you guys think of the stories? Did we miss any out? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Wash your hands, protect the NHS by staying indoors, and I'll see you next time. Bye!